Alright guys, Wet Movie 1 back here again, and today is the day I do my first part of my q and A. I I got, I think I got like at least 90 to 100 comments asking me questions, so it might take a while to answer these. I might do them every day, I might answer, you know, have a little, another, the next part in a couple days, you never know. But uh, I got a couple of video responses, and video responses I'm going to answer first right now. I'll try to answer some regular comments in this video also, this part. But uh, my first video response I got from a sh was from uh, Shock Extreme One. I always see him commenting on my videos. He, he you know, he, I think he's been watching for a while. He's a, he's a pretty cool guy. He had a couple of questions, so let's see what he, he had to ask me. Hey, Brendan, it's me, your buddy Shock Extreme One. I just wanted to come by and throw this question out since you have a Q and A video. You said make a video response, and I said, what the hell? Better than making a uh, regular comment, but. My question to you is, and I'm sure not a lot of people have asked this before to you, but I noticed you do have a couple shot on video films in your collection, you know, from cam motion pictures and stuff like that. I did see Splatter Farm, that's one of my favorites, by the way. But I would like to know, what are some of your favorite uh, shot on video horror movies that you have ever seen? Alright, uh, you said some of my favorite shot on video horror films. I don't really have that many of them in my collection here. And you were talking about Splatter Farm, how you saw it in my collection. You know what's kind of messed up and sad about that? I, uh, I'll, prob I'll probably love this movie, but uh, still not open. <laughs> I bought it for like $5.99 CD Trader back in like probably 2007, 2008 or whenever it was. That I don't, yeah, 2007, 2008, something like that. But as you can tell, it's not even open, so I can't even say anything good, bad, or anything about that one. But, uh, <laughs> no, but, uh, where's that one I really like a lot? Uh, this one right here. Uh, Video Violence. Uh, there's this one, this, this thing right here is like the, what's it called, the Retro 80s Horror Collection. It has a Video Violence and Video, Video Violence 2 in it. Uh, Video Violence 2 is not as cool as the first one. But the first one's pretty cool. It's about these people that own a video shop. Uh, I'm trying to remember now because sometimes I can't remember everything. They own a video shop and they kill people and then they, they videotape themselves killing the people and then they rent it out to other customers I believe. And I think that was cool. I think that's what it is. I can't remember now because I watch so many, so many movies as you guys can tell in my updates every, time, every two weeks. I'm like, yeah, this is what I watch. This is what I'm talking about. It's kind of hard to remember because, you know, stuff gets all blended together. But video, val video violence is uh, a really, a really a must, uh, a must watch if you're into... Um, shot on video horror films. The second one's okay, it's more like public access style kind of stuff, but eh, this is pretty cool. I can't think of anything else at the moment, but yeah, video violence is cool. And by the way, there's a bug on your shoulder. What? 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 Oh, you son of a bitch. You, you're that guy, you're probably one of those guys that like, uh, <laughs> mess with me on blog TV and say, you have a bug on your shoulder? You rascally son of a bitch. Oh. No, I was kidding. <laughs> Next question is from uh, who is, I think it's Tattling76. I believe he. I think he was the next person in line. I might be. I might be getting the order wrong, but he's a cool guy. He does like DVD movie reviews. He talks about stuff. He has even. I think he even has his own vlog channel. But uh, let's see what he had to. Let's see what he asked me. Greetings, Wet Movie One. This is Tattling76, and I've got a couple of questions for you. Uh, one. Do you collect anything other than DVDs and Blu-rays? Um, I'm really curious because uh, we never really see anything on the viewing end of uh, your videos of anything else that you might be interested in collecting. So, yeah, I'm really interested to know, is there anything other than uh, movies that you like to collect? Um, I'd love to see uh, videos, more videos about things that you enjoy in life that are more than just movies and uh, and your reviews and your out and abouts. I'd, I'd really like to see a lot more content from you about more things that you enjoy out of life. Um, I Believe me, I enjoy everything that you put out so far, but I think it would really round you out as a person to the rest of the YouTube community if you did more videos about the things that you that you enjoyed that that was that that are non movie related. All right, Tattling seventy six. Um, I don't really collect that much other stuff. I used to collect uh, Clerks toys, like Clerks figures. Um, I, I don't have I don't think I have the whole set, but I even have you know like a bunch of them that go down the walls here. 
you know, I, I used to be like, I, I still am a big fan of like Kevin Smith and his, uh, his universe, VOC universe, or whatever you want to call it. That's still movie related. I don't, to be honest with you, I don't do a whole lot of stuff that, that doesn't involve movies in a way. You know what I mean? Like, I have movies everywhere in my house, right? And my job is working at a video store, Blockbuster, where there's movies everywhere. You know, and that's pretty much what I think I, w I was born into, because um, I remember growing up and my dad uh, doing movies and stuff back in the day. Like, I'm not saying all big major ones or anything like that, but uh, he was in Raging Bull. He had like a little, like, cam like, not a cameo, but like more of like an extra thing in that. But, you know, uh, my dad having the big love for movies and like, you know, like always wanting to show me stuff like Roots. I'm like, back then, I'm like, oh, hell no. But now I love it. Um, but he used to do a lot of weird movies like horror stuff. I'm now back in this corner again. He was in this movie uh, called Shock 'em Dead, starring Tracy Lords back in the day. He played like a trailer park manager, and uh, he he did something like this. And he did he did a movie called uh, SOS Titanic back in like I forgot when the hell it was. I don't think I was even born yet. He was in a TV show called I Shy. Like it was, and my mom has been in a. Uh, acting and theater for her pretty much her whole life like community theater and stuff like that so like just acting and just being around like you know movies and acting and just stuff like that is that's pretty much what I am that's what I I love like back in the day I used to like go to the 99 cent stores back when I was a kid right and you know how I used to have like little glass figures like little glass like you know uh, I don't know like elephants or like clowns or some shit that's where I remember first collecting, you know, instead of like pine cones when I was little, but like little glass like figures that were like 99 cents that you would like get at those dollar stores. I used to have like a big collection of those back in the day. So I always kind of collected some shit, but back then I don't know why I would collect that because I've never, I never kept them. But this is pretty much my passion, you know, like just movies and I don't know if it, is this out of focus, what's going on here? But uh, yeah, this is pretty much what I love and this is pretty much what I kind of you know uh kind of been doing for a long time now so it's like pretty much all i really know right now so i wish i can sh like have something to really share with you to tell you that there's like oh i like growing flowers in the garden no that's not me man like you pretty much get like everything you see in my videos is pretty much me you know there's a couple little things that i don't share to you know to the YouTube audience because it's personal business and it doesn't really need to be out there but you know pretty much like what I do collecting working at Blockbuster this or that you know what I mean I don't I don't have a problem talking about but that's pretty much all I do that <laughs> that and uh, use up a lot of these at nighttime baby mm-hmm no I was kidding oh, no I'm not but uh, other than that I think you had one more question okay so question number two, this is going to be a weird one because this is just something off the top of my head that I haven't thought of. But um, if you could be any animal, what would kind of animal would you want to be and why? Hmm, what kind of animal would I be? I don't know. It seems pretty, you know, cool being a cat because all you do is like sit there and just like lay down, chill out, you know. If I, you know, I don't know if I want to be a dog, because all I do is be sniffing people's asses, like, you know, I don't know about that, but maybe a cat, because, like, he just, you know, goes around and just chills out all the time, so, uh, maybe a cat. <laughs> so, yeah, this is Tattling76. Be sure to give me a sub, and be sure to check out Brendan Mitchell, a.k.a. Wet Movie one a.k.a. The Wetster. Awesome guy. Give him a give him a sub if you haven't already. And Tadling76 signing off. Yeah, guys. Uh, I think I had another question here, another video question. I think this one was uh, from Martin. Hey guys, how you doing today? Martin Double Seven here. And how are you, Wet Movie One? I have uh, two questions to ask you. Okay, first question is, um, where in the world have you traveled so far, or if not, where have you always wanted to go, and why? Where I, where have I traveled and where would I like to travel? I traveled to, uh, what's it called? I've been to Las Vegas. I don't think that's really traveling. That's just like taking a short little ride there. So Las Vegas. I've been to um, San Francisco. Where would I like to go? It would be cool to go to like New York. That would be kind of fun. You know, like, I don't know, just somewhere different. You know, New York sounds like a, a place I would like to go to like totally do like a nice, you know, 
proper vlog, you know, like be on there on like Times Square messing around. You know what I mean? I don't know. New York. New York. I would like to go to New York. Second question. Uh, what do you think video games will be like in the future? I, let's say something like about 10 to 20 years from now. Where would I see video games in the future? I don't know. Maybe like those ones where uh, you just sort of... I don't know. I'm not really a big, big super gamer, but where do I see it in the future? I don't know, because back in the day, I used to like that Virtual Boy thing. I know a lot of people got headaches and it hurt their eyes and stuff when they did it, when they played it. But when you stuck your, you know, head in there and stuff, I don't know, like virtual reality kind of games, which would be kind of cool if that, if that happened, you know. But uh, thanks for the questions, my man, and keep your singing up, man. Keep the dream alive. Yeah. I know, I watch your videos, man. You do a lot of that lip syncing, singing stuff, man. You should try it for like American Idol or something, dude. Do it. Search out, you know, search out your dream, bro. See, it's, make, make that shit happen. All right, thank you. Have a nice day and have a happy Thanksgiving. Peace! Be sure to subscribe to Martino007. <laughs> hey, what movie one? These, I have two questions for you today. And um, please, people out there, please check out my channel. I only have one subscriber. I would like some more so other people can hear my opinions on some of my movies. So, here are my questions about movie one. See you later. My question is, what is one of your all-time favorite video games? These are some of mine. So, what is yours? What movie one? Um, back in the day, uh, you, like I see you holding up in your in your video that uh, Super Mario 3, that was the jam back in the day on, on the Nintendo. But, um, I used to love that too, the old school Mario games. And, uh, of course, Duck Hunt and shit with that gun. I remember that shit when that first came out. I was like, boom! And sometimes when that dog would come up, I always try to shoot that fucking dog. But uh, <laughs> yeah, that that the Mario games, Duck Hunt's cool. I used to love that old school nin uh, Ninja Turtles game. But uh, my favorite ones that I can remember right now were uh, GoldenEye for Nintendo 64. I used to play with my friends all the time with those ones. You know, like playing them like for the multiplayer levels and shooting the shit out of each other. That one in uh, Mario Kart 64. Used to be my jam, but like other than that, like any systems after that, at least until now, that's those are the only ones I really really cared for. Uh, so yeah, those are some of my favorite video games. <laughs> I think uh, Kino Movies had another question. Another question is, which one is your favorite Hostel? Hostel one or two, or Hostel three? Those are my questions. What movie one? Thank you. Well, uh, Kino Movies. <laughs> um, my favorite Hostel movie, I would have to say number two, because I like that one scene when that one girl's like hanging upside down with her boobs out and all this blood's like dripping down her and everything. That was like, a, that's something that you can't forget watching that movie. But uh, Hostel 1's okay with that whole eyeball thing coming out. I have Hostel 3 and I had it for a while, just like the Splatter Farm, still not open. <laughs> oh no, I think I got this one, I think at Best Buy it was like 10 bucks or something, maybe a little bit less. But, uh, man, I really gotta start watching my movies. But Hostel 2 is, uh, I would say, my favorite one of the of the trilogy. But uh, that's pretty much it for this part of uh, this q and I'll get on to answering these other ones in days to come. But, uh, yeah, guys, thank you so much for coming by. And if you guys want to leave more video responses asking me questions, go on ahead and I'll edit, edit it into the q and my next Q&A video. I like doing that. I like, edit, you know, having other YouTubers in here asking questions. It's awesome. But, uh, yeah, make sure you guys subscribe to the other guys that left uh, video responses. I'll have links to their channels in the description box, so go subscribe to them if you... Uh, yeah, go check them out, man. They're all, like, movie guys. I know Martin is, like, a big into, like, singing and stuff. And, uh, yeah, man, check them out. So, uh, see you guys in part two of my Q&A in the next couple days. So, uh, peace, guys, and thanks for the questions so far.